everyone welcome back to my channel it has been such a long time since i last filmed by long time i mean it's been three weeks but today i have the energy and i have the will to film so that's what we're gonna do today so today i thought i have been on my hair journey for six months now six, six to seven months and i wanted to share all the products that has worked for my hair and I wanted, I don't know whether there is a beginner out there that is also transitioning from straightening their hair, dyeing their hair to now be natural. So I thought if this video helps somebody, I will be very happy. So I thought, let me do that today and I will show you everything that has worked for me and what I won't be using again and what is a must for me. Now, disclaimer, I am not a hair expert. I do not know anything about hair products. All I know is these are the products that has worked for me. I believe I have low porosity hair, which means that my hair has a hard time absorbing moisture. So I take a few extra steps to make sure that my hair is getting the moisture it needs and I will show you exactly how I do that. So without further ado, let's get started. I believe, actually everyone knows, especially the hair, curly, um, oh God, I can't even talk. The curly hair community know that you need a really good shampoo that is sulfate free, paraben free, if that's how you pronounce it but I make sure my shampoo doesn't have any harsh chemicals. The first shampoo I ever bought as a natural was the uh, Shea Moisture Jamaican Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. This has shea butter, peppermint, apple cider, vinegar. Now this shampoo, I really love it and you may think this bottle is tiny, but there is a lot in here. I bought this September 2021. It's not even halfway down yet. I don't know if you can see, but it's not halfway down. This shampoo does such a good job at removing product buildup, which is something that... Now, because I'm not heavy-handed with products, I don't see a lot of product buildup in my hair because I don't use, I don't reapply product every single day. I mainly just spray my hair and then I just, you know, reactivate the products that are already in and I'm good to go. Hence why I think I don't get a lot of product buildup, but of course my hair needs to be clean and this does such a good job, especially when I want to straighten my hair because you know, when you're straightening your hair, you need to work with a clean base. And that's what this shampoo does. This shampoo was around £12 when I paid for it. And it's absolutely worth it. So that's the first shampoo I ever bought. The second shampoo that I think um, you would need that has worked for me is a moisturizing shampoo. Because I don't always want to use a cleansing shampoo on my hair. That is quite, you know, it strips your hair that's what the Shea Moisture does. But this one, this is by Cream of Nature Argan Oil from um, Morocco. This is sulfate free moisture and shine shampoo, gently cleanses, hydrates and detangles. This shampoo is $5.99 and this is the shampoo I use every single week. The Shea Moisture I use once a month and this I use every single week. When I tell you this shampoo has a really good slip, I can just finger detangle my hair in the shower, which is really good, if, especially if you want to avoid uh, hair loss. Um, this is really good. It's, oh, I, I don't even know how, how to explain this, but it just really nourishes my hair. It makes my hair really shiny. And I think that's what everybody wants. Well, in my opinion, that's what everybody wants. So get you one of this. This is my essential. If I had to choose between Shea Moisture and this, I am choosing this. And also price point, it is much cheaper, half the price. Another shampoo that I've recently bought 
which is also by um, Share Moisture, only £2 less, is this. I have never seen this shampoo before. It is um, the Power Green Shampoo um, by Share Moisture. It has, it says, it's it uh, moisturize and nourish weak, dull, curly, and coily hair. It's sulfate free and color safe. This shampoo, I've used this twice, and when I tell you this makes my hair smell so good, it softens my hair and definitely moisturizes my hair. This is the shampoo that I used on my curls today, and when I um, tried it it is first thing that I noticed about this is that it is very liquidy I don't know if you can see how it's moving in there but it's it's very liquidy the lavers however it lavers so well and it's it smells so amazing it has moringa oil avocado oil and power green mix it has kale in it it's really nice so if you don't like um, the Sheer Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil, if you don't like the smell of it, or if you don't want to use um, the Cream of Nature shampoo, I would say use this one because it's it's really good. I highly recommend that you get this. X is a co-wash. Now this co-wash is by Aunt Jackie. It's called Purify Me Frizz Fighting Moisturizing Co-Wash Cleanser. Now this co-wash is really good because sometimes I want to wash my hair midweek. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I I only like to wash my hair with a shampoo every week. So I wash my hair with a cleansing shampoo once a month and I wash my hair with a nourishing moisturizing shampoo every week. Um in Halfway through, I like to co-wash my hair. For example, if I get really sweaty or if I go somewhere that is very stinky and the stench gets into my hair, I want I would want to wash it. This, of course, is a conditioner wash and it, it doesn't strip my hair of its natural oil. It just gets rid of the product that is already in my hair and, but it doesn't um, dry my hair out. I would say if you're the type of person that feels the need to wash your hair every day, get yourself this because this is very safe to put on your hair every day because it's a conditioner, so it's helping bring more moisture into your hair. So far, that has worked for me and I love it. I will. I pray they never get rid of this because I will be sad. The smell is very good. However, it smells like shower gel from Bath & Body Works. That's what it smells like. Now, of course, you cannot use a shampoo without a conditioner, honey. So, lately, for the last two months, I have been using Kentu Avocado Hydrating Conditioner with avocado oil and shea butter. This conditioner is a very intense conditioner. It's very thick and my hair really loves it. It just soaks it up even though I am low porosity and have a hard time soaking up moisture. But this really helps with my hair low porosity. It smells, the smell is interesting. It definitely has that strong avocado smell to me. I don't know what you guys think, but to me, that's what it has. It, the slip is amazing. When it, when it comes to detangling, I don't even have to use a brush to detangle. I just um, use my finger and it's really good. So that's the other things I would suggest you go and buy. Find yourself a really good conditioner that has slip and something that is moisturizing. To me, that is the Kentu conditioner. After you have done all of that, you need a deep conditioner, especially if your hair is um, dry, frizzy, or in the past you've put a lot of heat on your hair you will need a deep conditioner. It will just um, help fight humidity. It will help fight frizz. 
and when you strain your hair if you do um, it won't get very poofy because that's something I've experienced for years not knowing that my hair was very badly damaged and lacks moisture uh, every time I was strain my hair it would just go poof after five minutes of me just stepping outside and also if um, you don't want to do the big chop however you want to bring um, your curls back to life deep conditioner my friend is what is going to help so I'm going to show you all of the deep conditioners that I've used on my hair and that has worked for my low porosity hair let's go the first conditioner that I'm going to show you today is from Garnier if I'm not pronouncing things correctly forgive me but <laughs> sometimes I don't know whether I can read so it's by Garnier Ultimate Blend Nourishing Hair Food Banana and Shea Moisture not Shea Moisture, Shea Butter <laughs> so this is a 3-in-1 hair mask and it is for dry hair the first thing about this is that it smells so good it smells like banana gummy this is the consistency of it I wish you could smell it I used this um, two weeks ago um, before I straightened my hair and this was very moisturizing I was quite surprised because I have used Garnier uh, shampoo and conditioner before and it had all those ingredients that I mentioned were bad for my hair so when I saw this I was a little bit hesitant to buy it but I thought hey it's only three pound fifty I have three pound fifty let me buy it and when I tried it I was not disappointed so if you are on a budget and you're looking for a really good deep conditioner this is going to work for you if you're low porosity I think um, it is like I said it is a free in one you can use it as a conditioner you can use it as a mask and you can use it as a leave-in now I have not used it as a leave-in um, but I have used it as a conditioner slash mask I have seen a lot of girls um, with really healthy looking curls use this that's what made me that's what encouraged me to buy this so yes another conditioner that I own is by Aunt Jackie it is the Coco Repair Coconut Cream Deep Conditioner this conditioner has a strong smell of cocoa in it. it it smells like a buttery cocoa but it is very moisturizing when I first used this I kid you not my curls were bouncing it looks so lively it looked very healthy very shiny and the damage ends that I had I don't know what happened but they kind of they, they were springing they, they were curling so that's what I mean by having a good deep conditioner now my people don't be like me because when I found out that deep conditioner helps bring back your curls I went crazy I think I must have spent over 55 pounds on deep conditioners alone don't be like me you only need one or two deep conditioner uh, personally I would say you need only two a deep moisturizing conditioner and a protein deep conditioner so that's all you need but don't be like me so yeah that's the second one that I bought and it is $5.99 let's just say six pounds this is in between it's not cheap but it's not expensive either the next deep conditioner I bought um, is by Maui if that's how you pronounce it it is moisture hair care creamy shea butter rich coconut oil and pure macadamia oil it's silicone free it says it will heal plus hydrate your hair and it is a hair mask for dry and damaged hair it's this also smells really good actually all of my products smell really good I don't do stinky hair product this smells um, it, it smells like macaroon but it really hydrates your hair um, if I would say if you ask me which one would I recommend which one would I put in your basket I would put 
this and this into your basket because they are very good very big and friendly um, and it works guys it works this is something that I have been using for the last seven months I don't miss it I use this twice a week and it is hair mayonnaise by ORS this is also a protein treatment it is a protein treatment and a deep conditioning treatment um, I leave this on my hair for 45 minutes um, you don't have to leave it for 45 minutes 15 minutes would do I would say 30 minutes just just to be safe um, this the smell it doesn't smell the best because I think all the other products smells better but it brings my curls back to life it makes my hair very I, I believe it makes it makes me have a good wash and go I need to buy another tub um, the thing is I keep buying deep conditioners because I have a fear that we we would go in another pandemic and all the hair salons the hair shops will be closed again and we will not be able to access them so that's why I keep overstocking <laughs> but you don't have to do that unless you want to the final deep conditioner that I have to show you is something that is very dear to my heart and it again it is the sheer moisture um, strengthen and restore treatment mask now if you're someone who is transitioning and you still want to straighten your hair I would say use this deep conditioner and only this deep conditioner if you don't want to overspend money and you're a one product type of person um, what have I noticed with this with this deep conditioner I have noticed that it brings my curls back to life literally any damage ends that I have are literally gone a few weeks ago I straightened my hair for the first time in six months and I wanted to straighten my hair because I wanted to see whether my hair was growing which I'm very happy to say it has been growing however when I reverted back to curly I noticed that I had a lot of damage ends and uh, even not just the end like up here I, f I saw that my curls were very stringy it, it wasn't um, curling like it normally would prior to me straightening it and I thought oh what am I gonna do so I went to a hair store and I bought this and I used this for the first time today and guys stringy ends wear stringy pieces wear it's literally gone this is very good and I will buy this again um, my the hair salon I go to did not have this in stock for quite a few months so what I'm going to do is I am going to buy another one of this in case I run out of this and I need more and I will also buy the uh, power green shampoo again but that's going to be an expensive trip in uh, hair shops <laughs> so yeah those are my shampoo conditioner and deep conditioner I give credits to all of these products for giving me good wash and goes for giving me healthy hair shiny hair moisture moisturized hair and everything so next of course I need to show you what I use to style this hair what has been working for me so we will get into that stay tuned so the things that I use to style my hair now I am very straightforward very simple with what I use to style my hair um, I always either use a leave-in and a gel or just a creamy styling product the leave-in conditioner that I really like is by Af um, African Pride Mi Moisture Miracle Coconut Oil and Bobo Boboa Oil hydrates and strengthens leave-in conditioner this is what it looks like this product doesn't smell the best I mean it doesn't stink but it doesn't smell the best however I would um, 
Compare this to the Jamaican castor oil leave-in conditioner from Share Moisture, which were for just a fraction of the price. The leave-in conditioner from Share Moisture is £12. This one is only £5. And when I tell you it works the same, I am not joking. So if you want to test that, if you do, please let me know. But I will never be buying the um, Share Moisture leave-in conditioner again now that I know about this. So what I do is I put my leave-in and then I go in with the Ken2 um, Flaxseed Smoothing Cream Gel. This says it has aloe, honey, shea butter and vitamin E. It defines and softens and it gives your hair a flexible hold. This is what I, this combo, I love. I love this combo because I tried using this on its own before because um, when I read, read the label, it says it's a cream gel. However, I find that it dries my hair really bad if I just use this. So I kind of threw it to a side and I never thought about it again. But then I thought, let me mix it with a leave-in conditioner and this. And guys, it was a dream. It was like a dream team. It was the A team, these two together. That's, so that's what I would suggest you do. Either you find a good leave-in conditioner that has, you know, that that is moisturizing and then a gel of your choice. Um, for me, it is the Ken2. Or you find a really good creamy product uh, where you can do just a one product wash and go. The next product that I uh, that I love to use actually this is the product that I have on my hair today it is the Kentu avocado hydrating curl activator from Kentu I love this product I also have the strengthening flaxseed cream ac um, cream activator from Kentu I love their product this is $6.99 I believe um, it is very thick, moisturizing, and I love I love the result that it has given me today. Um, so that's what I would suggest you go and get. It is very affordable and it works. The thing is, Kentu has a bit of a bad rep because when I was doing research on you know, what products to buy, um, what are bad products, what are good products, according to the majority, Kentu did not have a, did not have a good rep. Um, a lot of people says it, the ingredients are bad, it dries out your hair and it's not good. So I sort of uh, stayed away from Kentu. But then I saw the price and I was like, oh, I know it has a bad rep, but let me try it. And you know what? It was the best decision I made for my hair because Cantu works for me. It is great. I love it. So yes, I would suggest you get Cantu. I would really, if I had to pick out something for you, I would say Cantu. And um, by the way, Cantu is not sponsoring me. Let's change that. Let's let's all t uh, go tag Cantu and say, hey, go on, go on Anna L. Longclume's Instagram. Make her an ambassador because she loves your stuff. Let's do that. And another product that I also love is by Aunt Jackie. It is the um, Don't Shrink um, Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. Now, this product is another product that also has a bad rep. However, when I first tried it, I tried it with that leave-in conditioner and then this did not work for me. It was leaving like a, a like white balls in my hair, like it was like a like a build-up. It, it was disgusting. But then I read the back and it says this is the, a product that you use on its own and it has protein in it and flaxseed. Flaxseed works for my hair. So I thought, let me try it again. And... Um, if you see the thumbnail, you will see me with a um, with a gold shirt on. And if you like how my hair looks on that picture, this is what I used on it. It was the Aunt Jackie. Just that. I washed and conditioned and deep conditioned my hair. And then I put some water on it. And then I used this and only this. I did a one product wash and go 
with on Jackie and that's the result I have if you like that thumbnail picture that's what I used um, and this is only £5.50 it's very affordable so these are the products that I have been using oh actually I've also recently been using the Echo Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil just to help define my hair a lot more and it does work now I don't use this on my wash and go I just use it when I want to refresh or recurl a few ends that's what I use and also when I want to slick my hair when my hair is not looking so great and I don't want to wash it even co-wash that's what I use to slick my hair and put it up in a bun so that's really good and it's only $1.99 one thing I forgot to mention is that I also um, oil my hair. I do a, um, a, a um, an oil for my scalp. Um, so this is the oil that I use. Now, you may see this and think, hey, what's in this? In this, I have coconut oil, I have peppermint oil, and I have um, the Jamaican black castor oil. I um, just heat it up. And then I put it on my hair and also after I finish styling my hair as you may know you have that hard cast on your hair so I take this oil and then I just you know rack it through my hair just to fluff it up a little bit and get rid of that hard cast that's what I use and I think this has also been helping my hair grow I'm not going to lie because of course we all know black Jamaican oil helps your hair grow helps your lashes grow helps your edges grow look at my edges I might do a story time one day and let you know about the time I lost all my edges let me know in the comments whether you want to hear that if you're still watching this video and if you are thank you so much I really appreciate it the next thing I suggest you get is a satin scrunchie this has helped me avoid split ends so much when I take out my hair or when I put my hair up in a pineapple at night I used to use those um, little elastic and every time it would break my hair so bad so I transitioned to using these and I have not experienced split ends in months I got these from Amazon for um, 10 pounds I believe I will link it uh, in my Amazon haul which will be coming in a few days so I will link it and let you know where I got this and of course you are not natural natural curly or within the curly hair community if you do not own a satin bonnet I love my bonnet at the moment I've gone off my addiction um, with deep conditioners so now I have a bonnet addiction so this is the very first bonnet I purchased I still use it I got it off um, um, of Amazon and I also went on Etsy and I've been um, buying from some um, small business on there um, because you know I'm all about supporting small businesses and I got two more bonnets and I'm thinking of purchasing an, an, another two bonnets um, because I'm addicted to bonnets. I love it. Um, you know, when you wear this at night, it just helps your hair to avoid frizz. Um, I wear this all day around the house. I wear it when I'm sleeping. Um, I will do a video on how I maintain my hair at night. Actually, let me show you right now how I maintain my hair at night that is because it is quite simple so I'm gonna show you now Ooh, shit. so what I do at night is I just flip my hair just like that put my satin little thing and this is what I end up with and then I take my bonnet and I just go like that and that's the look this is how I sleep at night uh, and then when I wake up in the morning 
So when I wake up tomorrow, all I'll do is this. I'll put it down, shake it a little bit, and my hair will look just as good as it does today, if not more, because as the day goes by, my hair will get bigger and it will look more defined. Um, this is day one hair. Day one hair never looks good. So yeah, that's how I maintain my hair at night. The next thing that has helped me in my hair journey um, has been this little, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's a, it's a hooded dryer. So earlier I mentioned that I am low porosity and that my hair has a hard time absorbing moisture. Now I have um, noticed a significant amount of difference on what, how my hair, my hair and my curls look when I use this versus when I don't. So the first three months of me transitioning, I did not use heat on my hair because I was so afraid. And then when I heard about a hooded dry, I thought, oh, that's still heat. So I did not want to put it on. But I noticed that I was spending so much time in the bathroom, put, spending money on so many deep conditioners and then thinking it's not working. Let me try the hooded dryer. After I use this, uh, the product really soaks into my hair and I will never stop using this. So this is the hooded dryer that I use. I think um, on one of my videos I was demonstrating how I put it on. If you've not watched it, here's how it goes. It just goes in like that. It comes with two um, shower cap and then you just plug it in and then you can control the heat right here. So if you are low porosity, um, this will really help. It's not, it's not an essential, but it is um, a, some, a good investment and it does really help your hair when it comes to soaking in products. So I really love this. I would cry if this was to break, um, but yeah. So those are all the essential, my curly girl essential. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, this was a spontaneous video that I didn't really plan and I know it's a little bit chatty, um, but I do use, I do have a lot of products, but like I said earlier, you do not need all of this. All you need is a good shampoo, a good conditioner, a good deep conditioner and um, a hooded dryer and um, your styling of choice whether that is a gel a cream um, curly activator it's up to you you do not have to break the bank with all these products you don't need to really buy all those denman brushes but it does help um, with your with how your hair comes out whether you want really strong wing ringlets um, but for me uh, all i do is just rake and then scrunch that's how I get my definition. Um, if you like how I do my hair or how my hair has turned out, please let me know and I'll gladly do a video on it. But with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not. Uh, it would mean so much to me if you were to subscribe to my channel. I really want to see this channel grow. And uh, yeah, let's see where we go with this channel. Have a good night, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.